Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're doing well today. This is the Forgotten City. And uh, if you remember on the last episode, we got rid of uh, Malleus. So he's no longer in the election. And uh, it seems like everything's pointing to the cistern. And we need to find Galerius, wherever he is. Hopefully he's down at his farm by now. Ah, yes, there he is. And we need to convince him now that Malleus has dropped out, he'll he'll win. But we have to skip this dialogue again. Salve again, friend. Oh. Uh. Okay, we skipped that. So now let's get him to run. Then we have to convince people. I bet you we're gonna have to convince a bunch of people that they need to vote for him. Ah, it's you again. Hope you're settling in, friend. Yes. Now, what's on your mind? Uh, ever thought about running for magistrate? I've bounced the idea. Okay, we know this. Twice. Mainly as a way of getting duly set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. Nope, he's not. But from what I okay. hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And okay. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom. So I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. That's good enough for me. Nope. Malleus withdrew from the election. He did? Oh, that was unexpected. I wonder what could have possessed him to do that. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for me to step up then. Yeah. I'll let Equitia know I'll be running. All right. All right. See you around. So, I guess we don't need to be doing anything. Figure out how to get Galerius elected magistrate. I don't even make it pop. Okay. So, let's talk to a bunch of people and, you know, see if they'll vote for him. Let's actually... It's not the way we need to go. Hmm. Let's start down here at the bar. See if we can get Oralia to vote for him. Of course she had. Oh, game. Golly, it's so stupid. Can't wait to get my new computer built. It's going to be just an OP machine. I'm making it super un unreasonably powerful. Oh, yeah, only the men can vote. Any men in here? Well, I know one thing. We need to find all the men because the men are going to vote. I don't think we'll get uh, Horatius. You know, uh, to, He's pretty much going to stick with the magistrate, but we can we can try them all real quick. Let's, let's start here. Start with Horatius. What is it, citizen? Mm. Let's see, who are you gonna vote for? Not that it's any of your business. Okay. But my Alright. Okay, so we can't convince him. Can we convince uh Demetrius? I always forget his name. I don't like this dude. What now? What hell? <laughs> I'm not going. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. You're not going, that works for me, so... We know the people of the market. Maybe we just need Virgil. Oh, and, uh... He did help Rufius, so Rufius might agree to vote for him. Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. Let's see... Oh, let's ask you about the Roman plaque real quick. No idea what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, I don't feel like, uh, bothering him. Valerius sorted out my rheumatism for the first time in a yeah. long time. I'm not in constant pain. Good man. Nice. Fine. So you were. I think we already made uh, made him pretty popular. But just to make sure, we need to get this guy on board. Okay. I know, I know, you want to know where I'm from, but I really have to ask you some questions. My friend. Oh, let's ask him about the Greek plaque while we're here. And in a city full of Romans, you are asking me, because I am Greek. Let me tell you something about Greeks and Romans. Okay. My name is Georgios, yes. But Georgios. the Romans, they do not care. They hear me say Georgios, and they think, ah, he must mean Georgius. Good Roman name. They do this all the time. They see us worshipping Zeus, they copy us, but call him Jupiter. That's true. They take Hades and call him Pluto. That's true. Persephone. 
for certain. That's true. I am flattered that they copy our ideas, but why must they change the names? Do they want credit for making it all up? Do they want to forget where it came from? At first, I pull my hair out. After a while, I give up, and I become Georgius the Roman. I accept the world is Romanized. Plus, I have no hair left to pull. <laughs> but my point is this. If you want to know who stole an old Greek name, look no further than the sticky-fingered Romans. The flake you seek was pilfered from a collection of old Greek relics by none other than Dooley. Ah. He cannot help it. Like a typical Roman, he likes shiny things, especially those that once belonged to my people. Ah. And besides, it makes him happy. So I say, let him keep it. I believe he still has it with him, in his cell. Just opposite the temple of Demeter. Ah, okay. Oh, wait. Wait, I need to talk to you, bud, about who you're going to vote for. I forgot. Hello again, my Sartori. Okay, hush. Galerius, did you know he saved the life of my young? Yes. But of course. I hope that I... And I'm assuming you're going to vote for him, too. Ah. A new face. So, I hear we have... Galerius, definitely. <laughs> Alright, All right, we already made nice to talk to you. A Galerius very popular. So let's go to Equitia. And, I mean, let's start the election. Because uh, that's pretty much all the guy. That's quite an impressive bow you have there. Just like Diana's. A new face. Yes, yeah. Um... It must be completed by dusk. Just the same. It'll be between se Why do you ask? Uh, can we start it now? As I said. I just want to get it over and done with. Well, I wouldn't describe... Holding it early may prevent conflict between voters. Hmm. Yes. I have overheard some rather unpleasant arguments. The last thing we need here is additional conflict. Yep. Very well. I'll get things started right away. All right. Citizens... It is time. Let us meet to elect our magistrate. You gonna go? Alright, y'all are all gonna walk. Alright, I'll just uh, cut this out till everybody's... Uh... Oh, Dacius. I forgot about Dacius. Yeah, I'll just uh, cut this out till everybody shows up. Alright, everybody, I'm back and everybody is here so we got at least three votes for galerius let's do this come on galerius we won't have to worry about uh this stopping us either citizens we have a quarate body of voters gathered here to elect the city's magistrate the candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and late nominee Gallus Galerius Helva. Marcus Maliolus Gerges withdrew his candidacy earlier it's today. A whack job. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Galerius. He saved the life of my dear friend Fabia. Dacius? Sentius. Virgil? The man who put a stop to the threats I've been receiving. Galerius. Need one more. Rufius? The man who treated my rheumatism. Galerius. Citizen. All right. You have made your decision. Your new magistrate is Gallus Galerius Helva. Yeah. What? It is undecided. Magistrate Galerius, would you like to make a brief address? Uh, um, I just want to say, this isn't something I ever wanted. Now that you've put your trust in me, I'm going to do everything I can not to let you down. I'll need some time to put together a list of the changes I want to make around here. But I promise you, there will be changes. My first order is that Dooley is to be freed. Horatius, release him from his cell immediately. Please. Wait, do I need to say please? I suppose not. That's it. You can all get on with your day. Nothing else to see here. Move along. All right. 
Uh, let's talk to him. Let's talk to Cynthius. We're finally alone. I assume we have. I is that a seems. Uh, what happens now that you're no longer magistrate? Nothing really. It won't be long before the golden rule is broken and everything will be reset. Oh. I dare say it won't affect me in the slightest. Oh. I think it's better. Okay. Thank you. Well, we need to go see old Dooley. Awesome. Just want to look at my uh, things here. Okay. So happy. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Why don't you go to the baths? Then tell Georges I said you could have some new clothes. Then I want you to go home and rest. I'll speak with you soon, Dooley. All right, let's talk to him. Uh, hello. Yep, that's me. Oh, it is you. He talks a little slow, so I just kind of skip that. Thank you. You're a big helper. I was locked up, but they let me out again. I'm so happy. You can have my shiny plaque if you want, and maybe you can help me find my treasure. My friend Hannibal used to look after me, and he said he always would. But then he died. But before that, he told me if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious. <laughs> ah, what was it? He gave me a key to the cisterns and told me to keep it safe. He said there's something very precious way up high. I, wonder what, I just wonder what that Please means. Help me find it. Please. I had to keep it a secret until I found someone I could trust. Wow, well, you can trust us, buddy. Oh, thank you. Here's the key. Oh, poor guy. Hope you find it. In the cisterns. Way up high, Hannibal said. Oh, look over there. Something shiny. Is it treasure? Maybe it is treasure. I can see it for myself. So pretty. And it's just lying out here. He's about to break the golden rule. Maybe nobody wants it anymore. Maybe no one will mind if I just take it. Don't you dare. There we go. The many shall suffer. For the sins of the one. Ah, so it doesn't matter. Uh. So it doesn't matter what happens after the election. Magistrate Galerius. Oh, good, the game. Yeah. It's just so hard to get all these graphics, these dark ass graphics in. Not trying to shoot me. Ow! Do your thing, buddy. Watch him turn to ash. Oh, we couldn't. We missed it. Well, now everything will be back to normal. Which is good. And uh, we can get into the upper cistern now and start solving some of these problems. That was very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Now, I'm not really sure where the upper cistern is. So we'll need to uh, start looking for that now. And uh, we'll have to talk to you again, won't we? Go save everybody, buddy. So Dooley's breaks the golden rule. Oh. Yulia? Poor bird. All right, let me see. Oh, we can get him to do this again. What? Are you? <laughs> You're serious, aren't you? I doubt Demetrius will let me talk to him, but I'll make sure he passes on the message. I'll go, but once... 
Okay, cool. So, what we need to do is I, I want to say there's two things I want to look at real quick. I think that temple is the, you know, the one up here, of course. Because I think it, it was locked. And I want to see about the obelisk. I think is what Equitia called it. That we need the plaques for. But there's, I guess there's two ways. Confront Pluto, which I kind of think I want to do just to see what happens. So that sounds a little more interesting. But the Persepina one seems really good too. It's all so interesting. Oh, I gotta sneak by. Oh, they're not here. Well, that's good. Okay, it's locked. Oh, and this is it. I didn't even notice this last time. Oh, Opius isn't gonna be here because they're free. Aha, very interesting. I think the upper cistern... I found it by accident. We're just gonna go see. I think it's back here. Cause I remember this being locked. I don't know if this goes into that temple or this. This is it, but oh, it is. What's going on? Why can't it go? There we go. Uh, flashlight. Oh, somebody's weeping. I had to cut that out because the game froze. But uh, that's where we're going to stop for this video, everybody. Leave you on a little cliffhanger. And we'll get back to it next time. I'm getting out my bow. And uh, on the next video, we'll explore the upper cistern. Hopefully, Scintilla's in here. So thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Later.